Hi everyone, I hope you're doing really well. This is going to be sort of my back to basics Sunday face of the day routine that I started off doing a year ago and kind of got away from, but I'm just kind of going to jump in and tell you what I'm using today. I started already with my NARS Pro Prime Eye Primer and my Hourglass Veil Primer, which is an all-time favorite. I kind of got away from using it. You can see I don't have very much left. I guess I'll try to finish that this week. But I was using some other things, and I like I like them all. <laughs> but that is my favorite. So I also have my Beauty Blender ready to go. I don't use this very often, but I thought I would share with you how it performs. I'm going to use today the um, Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup, and I'm going to use it just uh, like with my fingers, and then use the Beauty Blender. So I'm going to hit the T-zone first. I have some blemishes here and some redness on my chin. I'm using Ret um, Retin-A right now, and I don't, I don't know. I hope the results are worth it, but I think it's a pain. It's not fun to use, and, and I'm not enjoying it. So tell me if you have any advice on that. So now I'm just going to blend that in with the Beauty Blender. This is such a weird... <laughs> For me, this is weird. I know everyone loves this, but I'm just trying to get used to it. I I feel like I'm missing the boat on this product, but I'd like to, I'd like to love it, <laughs> if that makes sense, because everyone else loves it, and I want to, but I'm not really sure what it is about it that I feel like it doesn't work that great for me, so let me see. Eh, it's, it's okay today. I think it's a lot better than trying to dip it into the product and then apply it. I think it's a lot better to apply it to the face first. Someone told me that and I agree. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to hide my under eye darkness with this Eve Pearl Concealer in Fair Light. I like Eve Pearl products. I have yet to be disappointed. Everything I've purchased I liked. So I'm just going to use it with my finger today at least to start off. Maybe I'll use the Beauty Blender to, to blend it in. I have had no sleep, I mean, for like two weeks. I've had a lot of guests and a lot of excitement. So back to normal, hopefully, and um, hopefully back to sleep. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take that and blend that in a little bit. All right, and then I'm going to take the not necessary step at all, I just like it the Hourglass Ethereal Light Ambient Powder and this brush from Real Techniques, which is called the Setting Brush. And really tap that really good and just sort of set that concealer under the eyes. That's a really nice concealer, by the way. I, I really like it. The consistency is just unlike anything else I have. Okay, so then I'm gonna take the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20. And I'm going to warm it up on the back of my hand and hide the redness. Hopefully. <laughs> that's the goal. Okay. So that's how it's shaping up thus far. And I'm going to take... I have some things I'm trying to finish up. In fact, I'm going to do a video about that very, very soon. This is the Laura Mercier Setting Powder. I'm going to take that with the, I was going to use this, but I think I won't. It's a little bit wet. I'm going to use the cheek brush from Tom Ford. And I'm just going to tap that on top, especially on top of the concealer I already applied. Okay. And since my bronzer brush is a little bit wet, I'm going to show you another brush I really love for bronzer. And it's not expensive, so that's a bonus. And it is the blush brush from Real Techniques. This is really nice. It really applies it in a very nice, easy, easy way. It's not particularly concentrated in one area, and I like the way it looks. Not as much as with the Tom Ford, but come on. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of dust it all over whatever's left on the brush. Okay, that's another product I want to use up this year soon. Okay, so I'm going to show you something new. I used this last night with a very light hand, and I'm totally in love with it. It is the NARS blush in 
<laughs> I don't even know how you say this. Courbaton something. I know I just butchered that. I apologize. And I'm going to use the Sigma Small Duo Fiber F55 because this is crazy pigmented. I'm just going to cut it really lightly <laughs> right there. It is so natural, which is weird given that it's like a crazy fuchsia tone, but I love the way this looks. I did, used it last night just for fun, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is crazy, but you have to be very light-handed and buff, buff, buff. So I'm using the same Real Techniques brush again. But if someone had deeper skin than me, this is really, really nice. It's a kind of a lit from within look, and probably the most realistic flush of anything I own, and I'm totally over the top about this. I think it's gorgeous, but tell me what you think. I, it's, it's definitely a statement blush. <laughs> it's, but yeah, light handed. This is, I mean, barely anything on the brush. Okay. So then, oh, itchy nose. Then I'm going to use something I just bought last night at Ulta. It is the NYX Eye Base in white. I've never used this before. And I'm not even sure how I want to use it. So let's see. I think I'm going to try it with, <clears throat> just for starters, with this Sedona Lace 407, which is the angled eyeshadow brush, which I don't know about you, but I never use one of those for anything. So I'm just going to do this on the lids. And I already applied Pro Prime. And part of the reason for that is, the main reason for that is I wanted to kind of create a barrier between my skin and this white base because I don't know if I'm allergic to it and I really hope I'm not, but <laughs> just in case, it's probably better to have a little bit of a barrier between the, the two products. I like this already better than milk, the pencil milk, and um, I'll show you what I'm using today and why I wanted a nice white base. All right, so the products I've pulled out for today's look are is the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in Ice Queen, and here are the colors. One is very sparkly, and it's just a really nice sort of blue-toned gray quad. And so I'm going to start with, um, this E25 from Sigma and the light gray color on the lids. Let's see how this goes. I've used this quad before, but I haven't figured out the best way to use it, so. These are expensive quads, but you do get kind of a lot of product for the price, so. In a nice big mirror. <laughs> so there's the first of the colors. Next, I'm going to take my Wayne Goss number no. five brush and the white in the palette as a inner corner. This is kind of I mean, even though the colors aren't super crazy like reds or vibrant oranges or something like this, this is sort of a dramatic palette, and um, and I do like it a lot. So then I'm going to take the Wayne Goss number no. six brush and the what am I going to do here? I think I'm going to use the same color I use in my lid on the, in the crease because I'm going to add something to the. Um, to the lid, the sparkling color. Then I'm just going to wipe off this brush on my rag here, and I'm going to take the the darker of the colors, the darker gray, and put it right here. So just into the crease, but mostly just like as an outer V kind of look. These brushes are so nice. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Let's make sure that looks good. <clears throat> now I'm going to take the 
number three and just kind of blend the heck out of that. These brushes really are just a joy to use. I I was so skeptical when I bought them, but I am totally in love with them. Then I'm going to take the, the small brush again and wipe it off, and I'm going to use the gray color, the dark gray, under my lids. Under my lash line, rather. Under my lids. Good God. Pretty sure it's obvious I haven't slept. <laughs> okay, so that's how this is looking right now. And basically, I think the only thing left really is liner and liner and brows. I am going to take Mac Vanilla, which I have sitting right here, and the original brush I used, the 25, and just kind of do the highlight. Okay, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. You don't really need extreme close-up. Okay, then I'm going to use my feline eye coal. There's a shocker. No waterline. And on the lash line. And then I'm going to take this brush, just barely dip it into the gray color, and just run that over the feline. Just to kind of pull that together. Okay. Then I'm going to take the E25 again and spray it with the Bridal Makeup Finish from Scandinavia and dip it into this glitter. One thing I will say about this quad is the glitter needs a little bit of moisture or something to stick, otherwise it will fall out, and who wants fall out? Yuck. Okay, so there's a little bit of glitter there. And then I'm going to take my Illamasqua Brow Cake, like usual, and my Real Techniques brush. And then I'm going to show you a new mascara. I know you're excited. Okay. Okay, so the new mascara I've been using and really, really, really loving is the L'Oreal, I think this is called, I saved the packaging so I wanted to review it. It's the Voluminous Extra Volume Collagen. And it's in this tube, and it's pretty incredible. Let me show you up close. Baba. Baba is daddy in Farsi. Okay. So that's one coat. So wait till you see two or three. This is really good stuff. This two starting to look pretty good. Okay, <clears throat> and that's three. Zoom out, and I'm going to show you one more thing, and then I'm finished, and then I'm going to talk about something else. Laura Mercier highlighter. I swear I cannot talk today. I'm just a mess right on the cheekbones, cupid's bow, and collarbones. 
Okay. <clears throat> All right, so that's my face of the day for Sunday. I do have people coming over for a barbecue later. I know barbecue in December sounds a little weird, but there's a method to my madness. It will be fun, and we will enjoy that very much. Um, so... If you stuck with me through the video, I do have a giveaway. I didn't want to put it in the title because of, you know, you don't want trolls coming to get a giveaway. So I wanted to share with you, I picked something up for you and I will pick a winner on, what is it? I'll pick a winner on Tuesday, so pass it on or whatever. It's a nail polish, it's NARS, and it is Disco Inferno, and I really love this color. In fact, I own one and I think this is really, really cool. It's a duochrome. <clears throat> it's kind of gray. It's got a little green and maybe even some blue in it. It's really, really pretty. So anyway, yeah. So all I want from you is to comment and tell me what type of video for me you prefer. What do you like best? And if you have any requests, obviously throw that in there. But just your comment at all will be um, your entry. And in fact, I have several more little giveaways coming up. So you know, keep your eye out because they're going to be kind of snuck into things. I'm not going to have a big announcement and get a bunch of new subscribers who will then just leave. I, that's not, I want good subscribers. I want people that I will always interact with and enjoy. So that's kind of my own selfish reasons for not doing that. But anyway, so here's the nail polish. Again, Disco Inferno from NARS. Let me know what kind of videos you like. And I will talk to you very soon. Thank you so much for being here and being subscribed. I really appreciate each and every one of you so much. And I've had so much fun this year getting to know all of you. So anyway, I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.